Movie Fanatics, and welcome to another movie mail. I haven't done a movie mail in forever and a day. Check this out there, look. I got a big box, and I got an envelope here with some goodies. So you know what, I got a lot to show you guys. I'm not gonna waste your time, let's jump right into it. First up, let's start off with this big box right here. This box is from Wild Eye Releasing. If you do not know who Wild Eye Releasing is, they are an independent cinema company that focuses primarily on independent filmmakers, and they specialize in horror, cult films, documentaries from all over the world. And if you guys didn't know this, I personally love independent films. When I go to my local horror cons around here, I like to talk, there's actually a lot of um, independent film people around here. Uh, the one popular one that you guys might know is The Barn, that was filmed around here, and I, I met the producer and the director, great guys, I actually have their DV, DVD right up here. So if you wanna know more about Wild Eye releasing, the link to their website will be in the description below, go check them out, look them up on Amazon Video as well, a lot of their movies are streaming on there as well, so you can always check them out on there. But so yeah guys, if you wanna know more about them, please check out their website, link in the description below. So as you guys know, I always open up the box beforehand because I'm always fighting with stuff on camera. Check this out, a little taste right there, you guys. So there's a lot of movies in here. Let's hop right into it. I'm really excited to show these off and talk about them. First up, they gave me a little card here for a future title that's coming out, uh, Model Hunger. You guys wanna see that right there? There's the information. Can you all see that, hopefully? There'll be more information on their website as well. And they also threw in a sticker, which actually I'm a big sucker for stickers, believe it or not. When I was younger, I used to collect them, um, like Marvel stickers and DC stickers. So this is really cool. And I actually have a, a bumper sticker or a sticker of any convention that I've went to. So that's kind of fun fact for you guys if you didn't know. First movie we have here is House of Salem. Now, like I said, you guys, these are independent films. I really don't know much about these. And which is, if you guys wanna know more about them in the description below, what I could do is, is leave a, uh, a little description about what each movie is about for you guys. That way you have a better idea. But yeah, this seems actually, I'm a sucker for artwork, so will you come out to play? Next up here, we have Jurassic Dead. And if you guys know anything about me, I love creature features and I'm a sucker for zombies. So you mix the two, like Zombievers, I absolutely love that movie. So anything when they take uh, an animal and they mix it with like zombie, I I'm all for it. I'm a sucker for it. And then we should guys show you the back real quick. Like I said, you can either pause and, and try to read these or I'll leave a little description below. Next up, we have Bone Jangles. <laughs> that's actually a really cool name look at that art that's great artwork and it says when bones rattle blood will flow so there you go for that one next up here we have the control group once again pretty cool artwork on all these so far and there you go right there so hopefully you guys can read these next up we have apocalypse cult now i don't know if you guys can see that but in the background there that's some really freaky artwork love that here's the back for you guys very cool, very cool. The end is here. We have House on Elm Lake, which I'm hoping this is a slasher because just by the looks of it, it looks like a slasher movie. It looks very cool. Uh, I don't know why, like I, I'm a sucker for slashers too. If I had to pick next to creature features, uh, slasher would have to be a very close second, if not number one up there with the creature features. Now we are talking here, guys. Check this one out. This is all me, Creature Lake. Look at that, that's creepy as hell. And here's the back for you guys. Look at that. Yeah, now this, this will be a first watch right here, Creature Lake, I can't wait to watch this one. Next up, we have The Blessed Ones. Really cool, and now this one on the back, it actually says based on true events, and I don't know, but anytime I watch a possession movie or something that has to do based on true events always freaks me out a little bit more. If you guys are like that too, let me know in the comments below. And there's the back for you guys. And last but not least, we have Cruel Summer. Once again, this is based on a horrifying true story. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I like the true story stuff. It freaks me out more. It gets me engaged more. Um, I don't know. Great looking artwork, too. I'm gonna sh oh, there you go, guys. Hopefully you can read that. Very cool there, too. So here you have it, guys. This great stack here from Wild Eye Releasing. I cannot wait to dive into these and start checking them out. And I've been mentioning a few times on my channel that I really wanna start reviewing more. And I don't go to the theater as much as I want to, mainly because I don't have time because of Brooke. So I figured why don't I start reviewing uh, independent films and, and some horror and things like that. So if you guys want me to review like a series or something, 
Let me know in the comments below. If there's any independent films out there that you guys um, want me to review, please let me know. What I'm gonna do is bring back mini movie marathons and what I do is I watch two or three movies and I give a quick review on them. So if you guys are excited about that, please let me know. I'm definitely gonna start off with this stack here. So if you guys are excited to, for me to do some reviews or hear some different reviews on some independent films, let me know in the comments below. Next package here, we have an envelope with two Screen Factory, some goodies. I've talked about this many times, you guys. I love the Facebook groups. You can always find great deals on screen factories or out of print stuff or anything you're looking for There's people always selling and trading and all that stuff, which is great So I was in one of the Facebook groups and I saw these two uh, Screen factories that were uh, actually had a lot of screen factories for sale But these two escaped me because to be honest I've never seen them and I didn't know much about them But then I heard more people talk about these two movies and they said how good they were So I, I figured hey, you know what? It was a great deal could, you know, I could have passed it up. Why not? So first up, we have Slither. And like I said, I really didn't know much about this movie until it. Uh, they made the announcement that Scream Factory was getting a hold of this. And uh, a lot of people were saying how good it was, and then it was getting all these great reviews. So I figured I was like, yeah, if I can find it with a, with a slip, that'd be pretty cool. Went to FYE, never had any luck. And here is the reverse artwork, which is awesome. It looks like some kind of creature feature. Like I said, I, I, I really don't know. So if anybody could tell me anything about these two movies, please let me know. And of course, for Scream Factory, you always get great disc art and a ton of special features with the collector's editions. So I'm really excited to have this one. I'm also very lucky to find it with a slip. And the other movie I ended up picking up was Species. Now, I've actually heard of Species before, but like, I, you know, I just didn't, I don't know why. I should have picked it up because once again, I heard a lot of great things about this movie. If you guys know anything about it or I know there's a there's a couple of these movies, you know, is the first one the best? Is it worth picking up the other ones? Please let me know all this in the comments below. And uh, let me guys, let me show you guys the reverse artwork. I personally love the new commission and this one's really cool too. It's a very, very cool artwork. And I'll, here I'll show you guys the disc arc. This is a two disc set. Very, very cool. Very cool. I cannot wait to check this one out as well. You know, like I said, if you guys know anything about these two movies, please let me know in the comments below. Also, guys, if you're there's a lot of good Facebook groups out there selling groups. So I say if you guys are looking for some stuff and you want to build your Scream Factory, your Arrow, anything like that uh, Criterion, a lot of people are selling that stuff in Facebook and a lot of the groups are great. So always check Facebook. I always like to, you know, push the Facebook groups. So there you have it. Another quick movie mail. If you guys are excited for my mini movie marathons and for me to actually start reviewing more movies on my channel, uh, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Let's me know you're enjoying my content if you're new to my channel and you like movies as much as i do click that subscribe button and as always everybody take care and happy watching <laughs>